everybody welcome to another one I am finally out for this week it's Wednesday I decided to stay out so I, or stay home rather Monday and Tuesday for the big storm that pretty much went from Texas all the way up to I think even northern Michigan or Canada whatever the hell it was but uh, looked like it was a good choice uh, a lot of guys that I know kind of got stuck out in the road and like I said on the previous video, if I'm going to get stuck on the road, I may as well, you know, get stuck at home. If I'm not moving and making money, you know, what's the point? Just sit in the truck by myself or I can sit at home, you know, with the family. So like I said, it looked like it was uh, a good decision to make. I don't know. If you guys think otherwise, let me know. Throw a comment down there. But that's a decision that I made at the time. And, and you know, quite frankly, I stuck with it and I still am sticking with it. I am picking up today in Stanley Heights, Michigan at Chrysler, uh, going to Belvedere, Illinois. Uh, it's an expedited run, so it's a straight through run, picks up uh, today and delivers today as well. Got plenty of time, it's only a six hour drive, six and a half hour drive, the weather seems to be okay. Um, don't know what I'll find on the other side of the state. For you guys that don't know, I-94 goes east to west, but when it gets to the west side of Michigan, uh, it'll run out by the lake so it'll start turning south it goes through Indiana Illinois and then it comes back north on the other side of Chicago and it continues to do so all the way up to um, Milwaukee and then it goes west again west east but the part where at least the west side of Michigan where it goes to the lake and it starts turning south a lake uh, unless Lake Michigan out there freezes there's quite a bit of lake effect snow and it seems like almost every day I don't know how it's going to play out today. I guess I'll find out when I get there. Um, that area there, for whatever reason, it's it's always a bad area. At least in my experience, just a lot of accidents, uh, a lot of unnecessary crap. You know, whether that's done due to weather or not, I'm sure the weather has some to do, something to do with it. But you know, who knows? Um, the weekend was okay. I can. Uh, I can finally say uh, the news that I was waiting on and, and it's a it's pretty much a done deal I just got to go pick this up I got another truck um, I got a truck that I was looking for for a very very long time and I found a decent one and uh, you know seemed to like the price and everything else that came with it and pulled the trigger and you know got it the uh, paperwork and all that was done today I already had gone and seen the truck before that. I'll reveal that here in the channel in a little bit. Uh, it does have uh, quite, a, quite a bit of stuff that I have to do to it. Uh, mechanically, it seems to be okay. Whoever had it looks like they took care of it, but you know, on the inside, it's a little rough. And a couple of you know things on the outside. And there's some things that I want to do to it and uh, put my touch, I guess, on it. I am excited. I, I hope to God and I pray to God that you know everything goes okay with it. Uh, obviously, it'll be parked for a little bit while I do what I got to do to it. Uh, the good thing with it is, is you know, obviously I'll take you guys along with me and, and, and uh, make some videos about the various things that I'm going to do and how I'm going to do them, and quite honestly, take some advice from from you guys as well. You know, maybe you guys know of an easier way to do something. Or maybe something you know uh, seems to look better to you. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a type of person that I welcome criticism and ideas. Uh, you know, no matter what stage I'm at, or no matter how much I think I know how to do something, there's always something out there that is easier than the way that I'm doing, or better, or whatever the case is. So um, I will take you guys along with me. I think uh, that'll be a, a, a little bit, at least different content than what this channel has been, which I guess it'll be a good thing to, to switch up. But also the excitement of it, at least me personally, I really am excited. I've been looking for one of these trucks, like I said, for a very, very long time. And uh, what's going to happen with this thing? I don't know yet to be honest with you once that truck is all done 
I am not sure. Uh, I may end up keeping it and putting a driver in it. I may end up selling it. Uh, I may end up uh, rebuilding this and keeping it. I, I quite frankly, I'm not sure. A lot of a lot of uh, that is gonna be up to what stage I'm, in my life I'm gonna be at, or, or what you know problems I'm having at the time. I hope there is no problems. I I, I hope there's no issues, but I can't I, I can't bet on that. You know, it's, it's it's not a good thing to do. It's a good thing to wish for, but it's not a good thing to do to plan your life based on everything you know going smooth as glass. It doesn't work out that way, at least in my experience. But looks like I just got loaded here, so let me pull up here a little bit. Got the green light. Again, I haven't made up my mind yet of what I'm going to do um, and how everything is going to go. But uh, that's that's you know in, in due time. Um, I'm going to take everything as a sign and just go about it that way. Uh, I have a plan on my head of obviously of what I would like it to be, but whether it happens or not, time will tell.
turn left to turn right or look straight at the sun my mind's gone in circles i'm trying to fight it getting these voices inside to stay quiet gone to the place where all this began just start again
morning, everybody. It is Thursday. Um, I didn't get a chance to film too much yesterday at the uh, receiver. You know, big companies are pretty strict when it comes to filming in their property and that sort of thing, and I, I didn't want to take a chance with that. It's one of those things where automotive is such a huge business out here in Michigan for us that I want to get banned, you know, from places for filming so unfortunately I wasn't able to, to get anything but it was, a, it was a nice place hadn't been down there at that Chrysler plant in Belvedere Illinois in quite a, quite a few years actually the, the dock was a, a, an inside dock you drive inside the building you, you know back in there some of you may or may not know what that is like but it's no different than being outside you just can't keep the truck running when you're in there but I did want to tell you do want to tell you guys a little bit. Um, I actually stopped on at, uh, at the company here uh, that I'm leased on with in Charlotte, Michigan, uh, which is right across the street from Michigan State Police, which is good. Uh, they are actually hiring uh, CDL Class A drivers or they're taking on owner operators. Um, their requirements are two years, uh, unfortunately. And you know, I've, I've touched it before in a, on another video. It's, it's mostly, mostly to do with insurance and insurance rates. And that's why those requirements. Uh, but that's what their requirements are. So if any of you are looking for a job, whether it's as a company driver or as an owner operator, you know, give these guys a call. Uh, they are in Charlotte, Michigan, which is Lansing area. And the phone number is 517. 235-7088 or 517-214-7743. I'm just looking at the sign out here, that's all. Um, I'll uh, link all their stuff in the description box and uh, I'll also put it up on the screen for you guys. I have said it before, they are a really, really group of guys. I don't have anything to gain by this. I don't get paid as a recruiter um, and even if I did I would you know give it right back to the driver that came in but I don't honest to God um, these guys will refer to me by somebody that I know out of the blue um, and for me personally it's worked out great so far now that's not saying that it could work out for anybody uh, but they are a really really group of guys and they're very very honest people I don't have to worry about you know percentages or them trying to stiff me on something or try to you know change prices on me from what they get them from the brokers I don't have to worry about that I you know hand over my heart um, I love these guys to death they treat me like like family I they really do um, as far as their company drivers are concerned they got mostly newer equipment I've seen uh, some of the newer Volvos, like the 1920 Volvos, I've seen some of the, the previous uh, model Volvos, which is, you know, anywhere, I mean, I think they started with that body style, in, you know, in 2004, but uh, I know they're newer, they're probably 2013 onwards, uh, they have some Cas uh, Freightliner Cascadias, and uh, a couple of Kenworths, I believe, and, and I've seen a, a international or two as well I think but if you're looking for a job if you're looking for a change or whether it be an owner operator and you guys really want to give these guys a shot at the very least pick up the phone give these guys a call and see what they're about uh, you know Vince is one of the dispatchers out here great guy Louie is another one um, really really good guy Blair is, is another one the business is owned by three brothers and they truly 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 are fantastic people um, it's very rare nowadays to run into people like that you know they, they truly do treat everybody like like their family and, and you know if you can come in with a mindset of you know they need me I need them as well and split that about 50 50 you'll have no problems here at all. Um, 
Now, I don't know what it is like to work as a company driver for these guys because I have never done it. Uh, but as far as from the other drivers, and, and you guys that are drivers know, drivers love to talk smack, even if there's nothing to talk about. I haven't heard anything bad. But just because I haven't doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. I, I just want you guys to, to know that. Uh, but at least from what I've seen, you know, I'll, I'll be here for for a long time you know hopefully these guys like I said these guys are are great they are amazing but anyway let me shut the F up and uh, get going here wait a minute wait a minute hold up wait a minute let me put the seatbelt in it If I can get these loads every day, oh my god. Um, whew, you have no idea.
at the very least if you are looking for something new pick up the phone and give them a call if you like what you hear try it if you don't not, not a big deal you know you didn't really waste anything but a, but a phone call and as always if you like these videos please like subscribe share make fun of me whatever the case is and thank you thank you so much for your support uh, we'll see you on the next one and the next one is going to be a little bit special to me but until then